What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, SWV Music! Guys, life is like a revolving door. And like my old grandmama used to say, you win some and you lose some. I mean, it's real, right, guys? You could love a woman, give her all you want. Hey, she could say she loves you, but not reciprocate back. And you can meet a girl who loves you. You don't really love her that much. She gives you everything you want. That's just how life is. But imagine being with a woman for 14 years. You want to have a baby by her. She don't want to have a baby by you. You divorce, and then you come to find out two years later that she has a baby by a black man. And if you're a white guy, can I get a dun 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 sound effect? <laughs> Guys, that's exactly what happened with Jeannie Mai and her ex-husband, uh, Freddie Hartis, or Hartis. I don't know what his name is. But they were married for 14 years. He really wanted to be a father really bad, and Jeannie Mai was like, hell no, I'm not having your baby. Divorces him, gets with Jeezy. Not only does she have a baby, she has a black man's baby. And so, even though Freddie moved on and had two kids of his own, he's um he's quite butthurt about it, right? And, and quite naturally so. Um, to be with somebody for that long, giving them the prime years of your life, and the woman not giving you what you want, and then her giving another guy who spent less time with her what you know you wanted, that's crazy. And how must it feel to be a white guy and your ex-wife gives a black man the baby that you wanted? But Freddie had something to say about this, right? And he says this, you know, with regarding to, you know, um, Jeannie might be pregnant and having a baby. He says this, sad music, best decision I ever made. Congratulations. Being truly happy is an awesome feeling. Love my little family. Okay. And he also says that, you know, he's so glad he got rid of the trash a long time ago, right? He upgraded from trash to treasures a long time ago. That's what he's saying. Jeannie Mai was trash. Stop the show. I mean, if she wouldn't give you what you want and you got it from somebody else, that is trash, right? Whenever a man is in a relationship and he's not being satisfied for what he's looking for, if he's a good man, that is trash, right? Um, but you know what the old saying says? Somebody's trash, another person's treasure. Well, Lonnie Love um, is upset about this, right? And she says, state music, this sounds like a woman answering. You're better than this. Well, Lonnie, maybe he's not. And let me tell you this. A lot of times, men are supposed to just hold their feelings on the inside, okay? But the whole story is not being said. Because what? His new wife, Lindsay Tool, she said this. Under the same comment he made. Dang music, LOL. You might as well deactivate your page because they're going to tear you up in the comments. I truly don't want to put her through what she put me through when I was pregnant. Stop the drama and let us all live. Can I get a dun 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 sound effect? So wait a minute. Jeannie Mai stopped the show. <laughs> she didn't want to have this man's baby. So when he moved on and got with his wife, our current partner, Lindsay Tool, what did Jeannie Mai do? She was trolling them, calling them, causing problems bothering the lady through her pregnancy i believe it because that's how sometimes women can be they can be vindictive so <clears throat> he's still pissed off about possibly how she treated him let me tell you something about guys okay men go through a lot dealing with certain women all right dealing with certain women okay this is the this is the situation that's going on they deal with a lot when a woman you know the relationship is over She's supposed to be able to talk about freely what happened. He's not supposed to talk about it. I would say fuck that, okay? I think guys have just as much right to, to air out their discrepancies with certain people, especially in the celebrity caliber, um, than other people. But what I want to talk about with Lonnie Love is her hypocrisy. Because Lonnie Love, weren't you talking about how, you know, you can't really find that much love with black men? And, you know, this is the reason why you need to date out and date white guys. You know, you need to date out of your comfort zone. But you're coming to the defense of Jeannie Mai. Who's with who? A black man. Now, isn't that something, right? Lonnie Love is defending her friend who got with a high-value black man and left a white guy. Well, Lonnie Love, what does it say about your argument? It says 
that is BS, right? You have an Asian friend who gave a black man a baby that she wouldn't give a white man. You're defending her. But so many times you've been, you know, giving black women the advocacy to go out and date white guys, which I have no problem with. I just have a problem with the guy that you're with who's a complete bum. You make more money than him. He probably doesn't earn any money. He's a complete joke, all right? But now when you defend basically Jeannie Maya's decision to be with Jeezy, and you're clowning her ex, calling him pretty much effeminate for making that comment. And I mean, it is petty a little bit, but that doesn't make it wrong, okay? But what does that say about you, Lonnie? It says that you were not able to land the same kind of quality of black man that Jeannie Mai was able to do. And I'll tell you exactly why that is. Dima, put up a picture of Lonnie Love and Jeannie Mai, side by side. <sighs> I won't see anything, just like I got the photo. Okay. You see what I'm seeing? I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. And that's the exact reason why Jeannie Myers with Young Jeezy or with Jeezy and you're with that guy who doesn't make any goddamn money. And I think it's enough to be, it's a lot to be said about this, okay? I think that the reality is, regardless of race, if a woman doesn't love you, she doesn't love you. That's just the reality of it, man. Um, it's not worth trying to work it out with a woman who doesn't want to give you what you want. Why are you dealing with women who don't want to give you what you want. If you're a guy and you're worth your weight in gold and you know it, and I'm telling you this, a lot of times women tell each other don't settle for less while men are selling for less every goddamn day. Listen, don't settle for less guys. Okay. If a woman doesn't want to give you the things that you know that you're working hard to prove and you have to be able to prove these things that you're valuable. Men typically can do this and not be so entitled. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but if she doesn't want to do what it is you're asking immediately get rid of her all right don't go and be bitter for 14 freaking years okay going around butthurt because she's moved on and dealt with another guy they're always going to do that every time you deal with a chick let's say for example she's having a problem having sex with you all right um and you and the relationship ends because of that the very next relationship she's going to be having a lot of sex with somebody and it's just because she likes him she doesn't like you and if you found out about it even though you're over her you would feel a little bothered about it because you've done a lot of that girl you did a lot for this lady you love that lady right at one point it would make you feel bad but see i'll tell you what won't make you feel bad the sooner you cut her ass off all right instead of in 14 years make it 14 months send her ass stepping right away okay and then you get her off uh, off of your line onto something different and if men start to understand this we wouldn't have so many bitter men in the world and we do have bitter men in the world i'm not here to say that we don't we have them in the red pill community we have a lot of men who are hurt and the reason why you're hurt is because a lot of times brothers you guys didn't get them going soon enough okay get them going now stop waiting for them to be gone all right get them going right away okay stop playing around with it because if she's not for you she's not gonna do what she's gonna do stop dragging it out man she's not gonna change okay she's just not gonna change you know she's not gonna change let her go live your life you live your life and then that way you don't have to be mad about it all right as simple as that sometimes it's not about your success it's not about your money it's just the fact that certain women don't want to get with your program if they don't want to get with your program they need to go let them leave and it's fine no hard feelings but partly the guy has to blame himself because he knew that hey she wasn't down with the program all right so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first comment from the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.